Welcome to the Pocket Science channel. We have already covered a lot in the subject differentiation. If you haven't watched it, please watch it from the link given below in the description. Today I am moving for the next part. The differentiation of implicit function. Now I am going to give an introduction for the implicit function. The function which cannot be expressed as a unit function of x are known as implicit function. For example, it is going to be like this x squared plus y squared plus 2x plus 4y equals 1. Now, in here, if y is the function, we cannot express y as unique function of x. For this, there is a way of differentiating. For this type of function, we can differentiate both the left side and right side with respect to x. Now, I am going to differentiate the left side with respect to x. The first part, the differentiation of x square is going to be 2x plus when I differentiate y square, it is going to be 2y times the derivative of this y is dy upon dx plus the derivative of 2x is 2 plus the derivative of 4y is going to be 4 times the derivative of y is dy upon dx is equals the derivative of 1 it is a constant therefore it is equal to 0. Now I am going to make dy upon dx as subject of this equation and I can take dy upon dx as a common factor then I am having dy upon dx times 2y plus 4 is equals when I take this plus 2x and plus 2 to the other side it's going to be minus 2x minus 2 then dy upon dx is going to be minus 2x minus 2 upon 2y plus 4 I can further simplify this by dividing both the numerator and denominator by 2 then I am having dy upon dx is equals to minus x minus 1 upon y plus 2. Now let us move to the next part. It is the differentiation of a function of a function. If y be a function of u then you can write it as y equal f u and u be a function of x we can write it as u equal f x then we can write dy upon dx as dy upon du the differentiation of this y with respect to u times du upon dx the differentiation of this function u with respect to x this is known as the chain rule by using this chain rule we can find the differentiation of any parametric function what is a parametric function when the relation between the variable x and y is complex and x and y can be expressed in terms of a third variable that third variable is known as the parameter and such function is known as parametric function for example here it is given that x equal t minus 1 upon t and y equal t plus 1 upon t now the relationship between x and y is given by using a third variable t then this t is going to be the parameter 
Now let's see how to differentiate such parametric function. Now I can write the differentiation of this function x with respect to t as dx upon dt. It's going to be the derivative of t with respect to t is 1 minus the derivative of 1 upon t is going to be t to the power minus 1 then here I am having minus 1 upon t square then I can write this as 1 plus 1 upon t square similarly I can write the differentiation of y with respect to t dy upon dt equal 1 plus minus 1 upon t squared is going to be 1 minus 1 upon t squared. Now by using this chain rule I can write dy upon dx as like this dy upon dx is equal dy upon dt times dt upon dx. Well, we have already found dy upon dt is equals to 1 minus 1 upon t squared. It is 1 minus 1 upon t squared times dt upon dx. We have already found dx upon dt it is 1 plus 1 upon t squared. Then dt upon dx is going to be the reciprocal of this one. It is 1 upon 1 plus 1 upon t square. Then if I simplify this, I am having t squared minus 1 upon t squared times t squared plus 1 at the denominator upon t squared. Let's go into the numerator and if I simplify this to Finally, I am having t squared minus 1 upon t squared plus 1. Now here we are having dy upon dx in terms of t. Then we can express this in terms of x and y. dy upon dx is equal t squared minus 1 upon t squared plus 1 we have already found it I am going to divide both the numerator and denominator by t then I am having t minus 1 upon t upon t plus 1 upon t then t minus 1 upon t is is the x t plus 1 upon t is the value y Therefore, I can write here x upon y. Then the final derivative of dy upon dx is equal to x upon y. Now, I am going to do an example with the combination of implicit function and the parametric function. Here the question is. sin x equal t upon 1 plus t squared tan y equal t upon 1 minus t squared here the parameter is t now by using the differentiation of implicit function i am going to differentiate both the side by both the side with respect to t then it's going to be cos x times dx upon dt equals the derivative of right side with respect to t is going to be 1 plus t squared the denominator times the derivative of numerator 1 minus t times the derivative of the denominator it is 2t upon the square of the denominator it is 1 plus t squared whole thing to the power 2. Now I am going to simplify this. Here cos x times dx upon dt 
is equals to 1 plus t squared minus 2 t squared it's going to be 1 minus t squared upon 1 plus t squared whole thing to the power 2 now I can write dx upon dt as 1 minus t squared upon 1 plus t squared whole thing to the power 2 times cos 6 similarly I am going to differentiate this tan y equal t upon 1 minus t squared here the derivative of tan y is equal to sec squared y times dy upon dt equals the derivative of the right side is going to be the denominator 1 minus t squared times numerator is 1 minus the numerator t times the derivative of the denominator is minus 2t upon the square of the denominator it is 1 minus t squared whole thing to the power 2 I am going to simplify this sec squared y dy upon dt equal 1 minus t squared plus 2t squared is equals to 1 plus t squared upon 1 minus t squared whole thing to the power 2 then dy upon dt is equals to 1 plus t squared upon 1 minus t squared thing to the power 2 time sec squared y now by using the chain rule I can find the value dy upon dx now I am going to express dy upon dx equals to dy upon dt times dt upon dx we have already found that dy upon dt is equals to this one and dt upon dx is going to be the reciprocal of this one now I am going to write both It is 1 plus t squared upon 1 minus t squared whole thing to the power 2 sec squared y times 1 plus t squared to the power 2 times cos x upon 1 minus t squared. Now if I simplify further I am having here 1 plus t squared to the power 3 times cos x upon 1 minus t squared to the power 3 times sec squared y. Now I am completely going to change <coughs> this function in terms of x and y. We can write 1 plus t squared as t upon sin x similarly 1 minus t squared as t upon tan y then here it's going to be t upon sin x whole thing to the power 3 times cos x upon t upon tan y whole thing to the power 3 times sec squared y then if I simplify t to the power 3 at the numerator and t to the power 3 at the denominator finally I am going to have here tan cube y cos x upon sin cube x sec square y If you need the remaining part of the differentiation, please keep our channel subscribed. Thank you.